When we use the use operator to import an element, what happens if the element we're importing has the same name as something that already exists? For example, here we have a date time class in a namespace called project1. In this script, we're requiring this file, importing the class into the current namespace, creating an object of that class, and finally, printing out the contents of that variable. When we run this, we see that the object is of the datetime class inside the project1 namespace. However, as we know, PHP already contains a class called date time. What if we want to use that class in this script? Normally, to create a date time object, we'd write a line of code like this. But as we just saw, this line of code creates an object of the date time class in the project one namespace, not the one built into PHP. This is because when we import this class here, it's importing the project one date time class into the current namespace. So anytime after here, when we refer to the date time class, we're referring to the one we imported. So how do we use the built-in date time class? The use operator allows us to change the name of the class we're importing to something else, which is called aliasing. We do this by adding the as keyword to the end of the use statement, followed by a name we want to give that class, which can be whatever you like. I'll use my date time. Now the project one date time class has been imported, but as my date time instead. So when we create a new object of that class, we need to use that alias. And when we run it, nothing has changed. The object is still an object of the project one date time class. Now that we've aliased that class though, we can use the built-in datetime class. So let's create another object of the datetime class. And let's print out the contents of that variable after the other one. When we run this, we get two objects, the first of the project1 datetime class, and the one we just added, which is the built-in datetime class. So when we import a namespaced element with the use operator, we can give the element we're importing an alias to avoid collisions.